Good morning, explorers. I hope you are saying good morning, Mrs. Grace. Now, we are going to talk a little bit about a few things in our packet, okay? So, I'm gonna tell you about the sketchbook. The sketchbook, you can write your name and your class. You can write explorers, or you can write Mrs. Rohr, or you can write remote learners. It's your choice. But you'll see inside of the sketchbook are just some fun frames. And they're for you to make sketches in your free time, okay? This is your sketchbook. So I would like you to just once in a while, if you see something really awesome, I want you to draw a picture of it, okay? And this is something that you don't have to put on Art Sonia, okay? This is something special just for you to do whenever you want, okay? And that you can keep. Now, something else that's in here is your art portfolio. It is the turquoise piece of paper that's folded in half like a folder. Now, this will be for you to decorate however you would like. You want to put your name up on the top. So if I grab, I'm going to grab a marker quick. It's way down low. On mine, I can just write Mrs. Graves up at the top and then I can decorate it however I want. Maybe I want to add a decoration like one of the frames in my sketchbook like this. Ooh. And then I can draw a picture on the inside. You can draw whatever you want. You can even draw on the back. But what's nice about having an art portfolio is that you can store all of your artwork in it. So, even your sketchbook. Look at You can put it right inside of your art portfolio. And then everything's nice and neat. So all of the projects that you make this trimester, you can keep in your art portfolio. Remember to always put them on Art Sonia for me to look at. And about once a week, I'll go on Art Sonia and I'll comment on your projects, okay? I have not done that yet. I'm waiting for a few more people to add their, their projects. And then I'll go on and I'll comment. And today, or yesterday, you also had a monster. Ooh, so your monster might be on there. I'm totally excited to see that. Now, those are a few things that were in your packet. Now, our next project is going to be a monarch. Ooh, some of you might remember that I raised monarchs during the summer. And this summer, I had 13 monarchs hatch and I let go out in the yard. So I love monarchs. And you'll see on my slide, there are lots of fun little monarch videos and I haven't added it yet, but I'm going to be adding one of one of my monarchs that I let go this summer. So, this is going to be our project. Ooh, you're going to make a flying monarch. So, I'll be back in a few minutes to show you how to make it, okay? Hi, boys and girls. I'm back. I wanted to share a book with you before we get started, and it's called Velma Gratch and the Way Cool Butterfly. And as you can see, the butterfly's a monarch. So beautiful. Now, I want to share with you a couple student examples. Oh, look at it. They did such a beautiful job on their butterflies. I love them. 
Okay, I'm going to hang those back up. And today you are going to need the half sheet of orange construction paper in your bag and a tongue depressor. That is also in your bag. And you can use a Sharpie or your black Crayola marker. I'm going to use my Sharpie. Now when you're drawing your monarch, I'm going to show you an example. This is one that I give the kids in class just to look at for a few minutes. And then we're going to draw our own version of the monarch. We are going to start about three fingers from the top. And make a circle. And then we are going to add, it looks like part of an oval right off of our circle. And then we're going to make what looks like an upside down triangle. And you can see that everything is in the middle of my paper. Remember, monarch butterflies and all butterflies are symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. Okay, now we're going to start drawing the wings. So right where the head and the body connect, I would like you to make a straight line towards the corner, not all the way to the corner, just towards the corner. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Don't go all the way to the corner though, remember. Now, right in the middle of the body, you're going to go straight out. You're going to make a horizontal line, but don't go all the way to the edge. And then you're going to make another horizontal line on the other side. You can see I'm making the same lines. Now the next lines, we're going to go straight down. Almost to the bottom, not quite. And those are diagonal lines, diagonal lines. Now I bet you can guess what we're making here. Now you're going to go up to the top and you are going to make a curb line and then you can go wavy, 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 connect. And then on the other side, a curved line, wavy, 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 connect. And that is the top of our monarch's wings. Now, on the bottom, you can do a couple different things. You can just make one big curved line, or you can make another curved line that's wavy also. You could make a bumpy line. You can also make an inverted bumpy line. Ooh, I can show you how that is. just for something different. It's your creative choice what kind of line you would like to make. But just remember, you need to make the same type of line on both sides. Now on this example, I just made the curved line. I just curved that line down. So you may do that also. And then we're going to add the antennas. Curved line up and come back down. We need to make this an actual shape, not just a line, because we will be cutting out the monarch. 
remember this is what we're making. So we need to be able to cut around that antenna. Okay, now we're going to start with our design or pattern on the wings. The design looks like flower petals. That's what I like to describe it as. So you are going to make three on the top and three on each side. So you're going to start here and you're going to go one, two, three. And then you'll do the same on the other side, remember? Symmetrical, that means the same. Okay, good. Now we're going to make three on the bottom. Smaller though. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think you'll agree that it kind of feels like we're making flower petals. Now you're going to add another one in between. So two and two. And now in between, you have this area that's still open. You can make any sort of design you want. Maybe you would like to make a triangle, maybe a square, maybe another flower petal shape. I kind of like to make a curved line with a bump. I don't know why. That just reminds me of a monarch's wings. So I am going to make three of those. Okay, now your monarch is drawn. The next step is to color in around, you're coloring around your flower petal shapes. Now for the coloring, I like to use my Crayola marker. It's a little bit juicier. That means it feels like there's more ink and I can cover more area with it. Now remember you are using marker so you can't erase. But the nice thing is, these are just designs or patterns. And in nature, everything can look whatever way you want it to. So if you make a little mistake, just fix it. And whatever you do to one side, make sure you do to the other side. So your monarch is, do you remember? Symmetrical. So I am going to finish coloring my monarch. You can also color the head. You can color the antenna, the body. If you want to leave a little bit of orange, around the edge just to be able to just to see that it's a different shape you can definitely do that I think that looks kind of nice now we're gonna finish coloring and be back in just a minute remember we want to color around all of the shapes that we made. All right, I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, boys and girls, 
my monarch is all colored in. And you can see I started cutting it out. Now when you cut out your monarch, we're going to bubble cut it. Or that means leave a little bit of orange. Our eye likes to see that edge because then it helps us focus in on the actual line of the image. So leave that little bit of orange. You are going to cut out your monarch carefully. You don't want to cut a wing or an antenna off. But if you do, just glue it or tape it back on. No worries. Then you will need your white crayon and you can add little dots. Now on mine, I used paint. You can also use white out. You can use white paint and a Q-tip or you can just use your crayon. Your crayon doesn't work too bad at all. And you can make larger white dots if you want. So I'm just going to add some details with my white crayon. So it's your creative choice how many dots or white patterns you would like to add. I like that. Then you have your large tongue depressor. I'm going to make mine green. You could make it brown like a stick. You could even make it striped. Black, yellow, white, like a monarch caterpillar. It's on the slide if you're not sure what a monarch caterpillar looks like. Then, very easily, you're going to fold the wings, just the wings, like on this side you can see I folded the wings around the body. Put a little bit of glue on your tongue depressor, your stick, and then set your monarch on there. It will take a few minutes to dry because this is uh, white glue and not a glue stick. You can use a glue stick if you want. I just know this holds a little better. And now you have a beautiful butterfly. You can fly around your house. Maybe you'll want to make two and you can have butterfly friends. Don't forget to watch the videos either because you can learn about the monarch migration and the life cycle of the monarch. All right, boys and girls, have fun with your butterflies. I'll see you soon.